Okay, so this is our second round of testing of our airborne relay repeater. Um, so I think I have things configured correctly this time. Uh, I did connect a, well, a T-beam to my, my Surface Pro laptop tablet at home. It's a little weird in that interface, in the web client interface. So I'm hoping it will record the range, automatic range testing. So I will send a couple of manual messages, maybe hopefully to just in case it's not recording that I can able, um, I can determine if I'm making successful contact. I do have my, my um, solar repeater up on the hill again on our property. Um, <clears throat> that will... I'm looking at a couple options there. I did talk about in the past, mounting it on a, a structure. I think I'm gonna have a nice large cedar, probably at least 80 feet tall. Um, I can easily climb it as big, large branches, and easily climb it safely and get the antenna up there. I just need to build a longer coaxial cable to run down. That way the, the, the box, the enclosure, is down at the bottom of the tree or at least close to the bottom of the tree where I can access it to charge it. Eventually I will tap it into a, a solar panel, um, but for now, for testing, probably for the next, you know, throughout this winter, I'm probably just gonna go up there. I already got six days out of it in repeater mode. We'll see how long it'll last with those two, <clears throat> those three 18650 batteries in there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so that covers pretty much that. Trooper, our, our beloved dog, is excited about it testing just as much as I am. Uh, so, yeah, so next we'll be launching the drone, sending some tests. I'm going to go through, kind of make sure I'm all configured correctly, test the airborne relay repeater, just make sure it's working properly before I launch the drone. Weather's a little, still a little uh, low viz, viz. Probably not really any planes. I'm using Cal Topo to kind of check aircraft in the area. Um, but I'm still within legal. I'm never, I'm not gonna exceed uh, 300 feet, which my, my ceiling is 400 feet above ground level. All right, so wrapping up round two of our testing of our airborne mesh network uh, relay setup using the DJI drone, right? Uh, so we're back in the same test location as we did the first round of this. I've got the my airborne relay repeater set up with that little V-style antenna that I got. It's they're, they're meant for drones, but it worked pretty good and it's the right 915 megahertz frequency range. And um, but I was having battery issues. So that I dropped, brought the drone back down after the first time because I realized I wasn't getting any messages out. And I was like, what, what's going on here? Because I'm using uh, a T-beam here uh, connected to an external antenna on the Jeep. Hey, I'm trying to video here, man. <laughs> Sees people. So, but the, um, the battery is dead. So, and I had it plugged in overnight. So I brought it back down, plugged it in, you know, sat here in the Jeep. Well, it charged up about to about three volts because you can look at it on the on the Mestastic app and launched it again. Got about four or five test messages out before um, it seemed like it shut down again already. So we'll see. We'll go home, see if we actually connected with the home network. Looking at the Mestastic app, it doesn't look like we did. So... Um, We'll, we'll see what happens when, when we get back. I'm also a little concerned about the um, the client using the uh, web client, that if that even recorded anything or captured it, because it seems like it disconnects from the device. So I've got to get some more equipment to do this testing a little more effectively, but we're learning and we're going. Uh, we got a bunch of other Mesh-tastic LoRa Mesh Communications videos coming up. We got some new items I picked up got last week i just haven't had time i did 3d print a case for one I, I, i've got another one i'm probably going to 3d print this weekend um so i got a t-deck and then um the the t-beam supreme uh is the is the one so well that's got some pretty cool features i haven't even actually played with either i've just 
got them and so lots more MCOM lower mesh communications videos come in here on Ravenwood Acres. You can check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com link in the corner here. Follow us via our social media links, which are down below. Um, I'm probably going to create a Telegram channel just for this so that uh, those that want to start to collaborate and stuff like that, maybe it'd be a, a point of contact. Let me know if you're interested in that. If I get it done, it doesn't take very long, but if I get it done tonight, I'll post it here down below in the video. You can check that out. Uh, we, of course, have Rockland uh, affiliate links down below. You can check those out. Help support the channel. Stay tuned for round three. And let's keep our fingers crossed for a successful test. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So, uh, yeah, here we go.